Hello, this is Dr. Heath Van Horn. I'm just going to go over uh, in Packet Tracer how you can use a server to provide DHCP. So using the website that um, I provided for you before in Lab 11, the second part of that lab is how to set up a Packet Tracer and DHCP. So let's begin. We just use the same equipment that we're familiar with. And we just add some switches and or a switch and a router and a server. And then we connect all the wiring appropriate. Again, this is an unmanaged switch, so we don't need to worry about VLANs or anything. addresses in the guide so that's this network here network here okay so let's see here on this side is zero zero okay us here and here and on this end we haven't labeled anything so we'll do there's only one FA in there so dot two all right so that makes things um, a little bit easier network is that this whole network is that if you want you can draw a box so we've got two different networks sometimes it's a little bit easier to, to see those networks like that Once we have that, 
um, we got to do the IP addresses. So you can just click on them. The IP address is going to be 10.10.10.2. Subnet mask is 255.255.255. Dot, uh, was it 252 for 30? The default gateway is the next hop. And DNS server is Google. Alright, so we got that one sorted out. Now we want to sort this one out. Go, go to the CLI. Actually, before we do that, let's add our network modules. the wrong cable. Some of you probably already noticed that. Should be a crossover cable because we're not putting a switch in between. All right. So now we got connectivity all throughout. We got this one programmed uh, with the right IP addresses. We got this one programmed with the right IP addresses. Okay. So now we want to click on the server. We want to click on services. We click on DHCP. And we turn the server on. We create a new pool name. Um, let's call it net3. default gateway for DHCP is going to be the default gateway of the PCs. Alright, so it's not this one because we already set that. The default gateway that the PCs are going to be using is going to be 172.32.0.0. The DNS server is going to be 8888. The starting IP address is going to be 172 32 0.10. That way you got a few IPs to static if you need to. Subnet mask is 0. 
total number of users is 244. And then we just add it. And then we come down here, go to desktop, and we go DHCP. And it'll take a second. Oh, we forgot to do the helper address. So int fa01 the helper address. Is we say, hey, if you need help with something, um, we want you to ask the server for assistance. So, helper address 10, 10, 10 10.2, and then do write memory. All right. Now we should have a proper IP address here in a second. It didn't take because I fat fingered it. It's supposed to be IP helper address. There it goes. And it takes a minute, but, you know, everything uh, works out for the best. Um, sorry for the few glitches there. I'd like to be a little smoother than that, but I'm making this uh, video early before uh, my kids wake up and start making noise. So, um, And that should do that. So you just kind of go around and DHCP and all your DHCP um, works out. So just like we designed, it starts at 10 and just keeps assigning uh, addresses. And that's it. Uh, enjoy. I hope you learned a few things and um, good luck on this week's lab. Thank you.